You have been charged in the presence of this council with the practice of witchcraft. How plead you? Plead. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? I will not plead to this court. I will not plead before you. You will plead guilty or not guilty. And if you say nothing, we will levy summary judgment. You've already passed judgment long before this trial commenced. She obstructs justice. She's deliberately making a mockery of the tribunal. A mockery. There is nothing that I could say that would make this more of a mockery than it already is. If you won't answer the question. You, Colin Farnsworth, you sitting there in your robe with your hood over your face like I cannot see you for who you are, for what you are. You see? Witchcraft. What do you know of witchcraft, Michael Dowling? I know it when I see it. When a devil spawn woman. Devil spawn? You know my parents. We were practically raised in the same house, you sanctimonious hypocrite. We will have civility from you, witch. See? You've passed judgment long before it even started. This trial is for your benefit. If you'd just let uh, it... My benefit? My benefit? This trial is nothing more than an excuse. An excuse for you to kill a woman who frightens you. You don't frighten me. I scare the very bones out of your heartless chest. Whether we are frightened or not is of, it, of no matter. A man is right to be scared of your dark magic. And is that why you hide like a coward? Ashamed to reveal your face even when you know that I know who you are? I will face you. Will you face yourself? I face myself every moment of every day. Enough of this. How do you plead? Show me your face. How do you plead? Show me your face, Charles. You want to know how I plead? Yes. I don't know yet. What nonsense is this? You accuse me of practicing magic, and so I ask you, what is magic? She's stalling. You accuse me of a crime, but cannot even define what that crime is. If you want to pretend that this mockery is a form of judgment, then at least play by your own rules. Define my wrongdoing. You are accused of practicing witchcraft. And what is it that a witch crafts? Does she weave baskets? Does she mold clay pots? Put an end to this. This is a tribunal of justice. She wants us to define her crime, then let us do so. The craft of which we speak is that of magic. Magic. That is correct. That's just a word. A word like any other. You could say I practice stinting or journeying or flindering. You create a word, but apparently cannot define it. We all know what magic is. Oh, do you? Do you practice magic then? Of course not, but I know it when I see it. So you look at something and decide whether it's magic. How convenient for you. Anything that upsets you is magic. We all know what magic is. And you think that each of you shares the same interpretation? I doubt it. Uh, I say we do. Then tell me what it is. Magic is the use of otherworldly forces. Otherworldly. And which other world would that be? Are you claiming that we live in many worlds and then turning around to accuse me of witchcraft? I did not say that we live in many worlds. But you claim that there are forces that are not of this one, that are unnatural. I do. Then give me an example of one. Ah. <sighs> Clairvoyance, to know things you could not know. You think that I know things that I could not know, such as? You knew our names. It's magic for me to recognize your voice, Michael. Mine, perhaps, but not Collins. 
You don't know Colin. He doesn't live here. You have never spoken to Colin nor heard him speak. Yet you knew him. Is that what you call magic? And if I told you that I knew who he was because of his association to you and Charles, can we then dismiss this nonsense and go back to our lives? You can claim anything. You would claim anything to assert your innocence. And you would say anything to assert my guilt. This is not a personal vendetta. You are not here because you are clever. You are here because you have been seen to practice. To practice magic. Yes, you said that. But what you have failed to do is define it. Then let us define it as doing things that normal people cannot. Oh, you mean like making a rational connection that others are too stupid to make on their own? I mean doing things that defy the natural world. And you define what constitutes the natural world? You're damn right we do. Peace, Michael. But yes, we do. Not just one of us, but the whole of society. So anyone who does something that is not within the capacity of the whole of society is practicing magic. That's right. Charles, I know your son. He's an athletic young man, is he not? He is. Well, I saw him the other day in the field. Do you know that he can jump into the air and can somersault and tire and land again on his feet? <sighs> yes. Can you do that? Can you, Mr. Dowling? No, I thought not. Can you, Mr. Farnsworth, hmm? Can you? No. So, Charles, will you now charge your son with the practice of witchcraft for his unnatural, otherworldly jumping? It is not the same thing. He can do a thing that others cannot. And that, by your very words, is the definition of magic. But it can be explained. It is a sensible, understanding thing. What I have done is sensible. What I have done is understandable that you don't understand is only because you choose not to. It does not require dark arts to uh, understand jumping. You seek to cement my guilt through insidious words, dark arts. Why not call them light arts or happy arts? You were seen to move objects without touching them. That is no... And it bothers you that I can do such a thing that you do not understand. It is magic. And she admits her act. I, she admits her guilt. Tell me, Colin, does your wife bake bread? What? Are you afraid to speak of something so benign? Hmm. Uh, she does, yes, yes. And when she bakes this bread, does it rise? What? Does this does it rise? Of course it does. And do you know why? What? It was a simple question. Do you know why it rises? No. So does that make it witchcraft then? Shall we try your wife for her magic baking? That is not witchcraft. But why not? Does plain flour rise when one heats it? Does yeast puff up on its own in the afternoon sun? But when she undertakes a special ritual, suddenly a lump of dough rises and you can't explain it. But the process is known. So then you assert that doing a thing for which the process is wholly known, that is magic. Yes, I suppose that is as good a definition as any. And you further claim that there is no such thing than magic that you practice. That is right. Then we're done here. You are ready to enter a plea? Oh no, you are. If you should think to raise a hand against me, that is. I, I grow weary of this. I will enter a plea. I ask only that you raise your hand when you're ready. I... Ready to declare yourself a practitioner of magic. What nonsense is this? If you are no magician, then you will be able to tell me how you did that. 
did what? Raise your hand. We all bore witness. Do you deny what you did? Raise my hand? Yes, and so I charge you. Explain how you did it or confess to the use of magic. I simply raised my hand. Yes, but how? How, Colin Farnsworth, what process did you use? What natural impetus caused your muscles to contract? What was the cause? Enough of this. Did someone lift it for you? Or did you simply move it through intent, through will? You thought about it and the hand moved. She's insane. You moved it with your mind. You know it. You did it and you cannot explain how. By your own definition, Enough. that is this magic. Nonsense. Tell me. Tell me how you did it. But you can't, can you? Because you don't know. All you know is that you wanted to raise your hand and it did. What makes this mystery acceptable and mine an excuse for murder? Silence her. Charles, tell me, Charles. Can you tell me how you do it? How through nothing but will you control your movements? Do you deny the existence of will? I cannot explain it. That's right. None of us can. It's a mystery with no solution. No, I don't mean unsolved. I mean it defies solution. It is the unknowable. And so people choose to forget. They forget that nearly everything they do is shrouded in mystery, in magic. And I can see in your face that you are now starting to appreciate what I know. That there is so much in this world that we don't understand. So much more than what we do. I don't... Uh, you understand. know what growing up is, don't you? Indoctrination. Children don't become adults by learning how the world works. They do it by learning to ignore what others don't believe. What others tell them is impossible. Mary. Don't give yourself away, Charles. You see it now. The door has opened for you. You can be more than some puppet in a robe. Let the unknown return. It's real, Charles. More than anything else you know. Uncertainty is where everything happens. Let yourself... Enough! Mary. I, I... You think you're choosing security, but you're not. You're choosing stagnation, and it's already killed you once but you have a chance for rebirth. Grab for it, will for it, don't slip back. This tribunal finds you. No, don't, Charles, don't. Guilty.